Hi, this is Matt Devine with Design Point Solutions. In this video, I will cover a common problem that happens when upgrading to the next major release of SolidWorks when a network license is in use. In this case, I set up on my client machine, I have SolidWorks 2011 and SolidWorks 2012 both installed. And then down here, I have a remote desktop session set up to my server that houses a Solid Network License Manager. The Solid Network License Manager at this point is still on the SolidWorks 2011 license. So I'm going to go ahead and launch SOLIDWORKS 2011 to show that this should launch with no problem and it's able to grab a license from that license manager. Once SOLIDWORKS 2011 comes up, I'll go ahead and close it down. And then I'll go ahead and show you the problem that typically happens once we upgrade that to 2012 on the client machine but forget to upgrade the Solid Network License Manager on the server. So within a few seconds of launching, it's going to realize that it's not able to grab that license. So this message comes up and it says, could not obtain a license for SOLIDWORKS standard. License server does not support this request. Then it continues to say the SNL server needs updating. Please contact your administrator. And for more information, you can browse to this website. So we'll go ahead and say OK to that message. And it's going to cancel out that launch. From here, we can go over to the SNL manager on the server. So I'm going to flip over to my remote desktop session. Just go to the Start menu, Programs, SOLIDWORKS 2011, and launch the Solid Network License Manager. From here, we're going to get the Server Administration tab that shows up first. And there's an About button in the lower left-hand corner. When we select the About button here, it's going to show us that that's version 19, which version 19 coincides with SOLIDWORKS 2011. Version 20 will coincide with SOLIDWORKS 2012. So I'll select OK. Another common misunderstood problem is that the license itself actually needs upgrading and the license actually has its own version. So if we come here to the license information modify button, I can go here to show activated software license information, select next, and we will see that the license itself is actually on version 19 as well. So we'll go ahead and finish this up and select OK to close down the Solid Network License Manager. And then we have to go ahead and upgrade it. So to do that, there's two steps. We can go down here to the Start menu, Programs, SolidWorks Installation Manager, and you can do a check for update. Or since I already have these files downloaded for 2012 Service Pack 2, I can just browse to my installation files and then use the setup.exe to launch the installation manager. So when that comes up, again, we are on the server right now, so we're going to go here to the server products, and we're going to choose the option to upgrade the Solid Network License Manager, and select Next. On this screen, it's going to go ahead and connect to the SolidWorks servers. It's going to check your serial number, just like it does for every SolidWorks installation. So once it's done checking your entitlement, you'll come up to the summary page where you can choose the installation location and any download options you want to set. I'm going to let that all the defaults for now and just select install. So from here, this process should just be a minute or two to go ahead and upgrade the license manager. It's not a very large install file. Then from here, we'll uncheck the installation experience survey and select yes to join the customer experience improvement program. Select finish. Go ahead and minimize that folder, and then we'll come back over here to the Solid Network License Manager for 2012. And again, I can select the About button in the lower left-hand corner just to make sure we are on version 20. And then for now, I'm going to select this Modify button again under the, ins the license information. And we're going to show the activated software license and hit Next to show you that even though it updated the Solid Network License Manager, the actual license file is still left on version 19. So from here we'll come down to Finish, and then I'll go back over to the Client Installation, and we'll try to launch SolidWorks 2012. So we're expecting to see that error message again because we did not upgrade the license, we only upgraded the License Manager, and here it is, could not obtain a license for SolidWorks Standard. So we'll say OK come back over here to my server. Under license information we'll use modify. We'll activate reactivate the software license 
Next, set up your firewall options. Automatically activate over the internet. It should just take a few seconds here to activate your product. And then you'll see an activation reactivation succeeded, version 20. So we'll go ahead here to finish. Now when we come back over to the client side and we try to launch SolidWorks 2012, we won't see that error message and it should launch successfully. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it will help you out the next time you upgrade to the next major release of SolidWorks.